What is going on YouTube, Jay here from Maji and Jay. Today in this video, as I promised before, I have the tutorial on how to get the place to working on the Oppo Reno3 Pro. The process is very simple. All you need is one simple application and that's it guys. It is seriously that easy. So the first process that needs to be done is, well, make sure that your phone is fully charged like mine is. You don't want to cause any errors on the system. Uh, second, go on youtube.com from your browser, from the Oppo Reno3 Pro, search for my video, which is the video that you're watching right now, and then go to the link on the description, click on it, and once you do that, you're gonna be prompted with this website right here, giving you the download link, just click on it, and once you download it, you go here into tools you go into file manager by the way once you download it it should ask you if you want to install it go ahead and proceed with yes but in case you don't then you come here you go to apk and by the way file manager is already installed on the phone by default and here is the application i don't know if you guys can see that it says tta g app installer i'm going to try to focus this there we go and then it has a code right there just click on it and here it's going to ask you uh, if you want to allow the installation you're going to click right there then you're going to i deleted it but you're going to reinstall it and it's going to check for threats and viruses okay and it's going to give you this message don't worry just click on ignore uh, risk and install anyways and click install once again and there we go, we have done the most uh, difficult process. Now go ahead and open the application. And here we have it, it says TTA Google App Installer. So here as you guys can see, it starts from Android 6 all the way to Android 10. It is obvious to say that this device has Android 10, so you're gonna click right on it. So the first thing here that you want to install is the Google Play Store, just because of the fact that you need to log into it before you can get the other stuff installed. So click on it. And then from here, you're going to allow the installation. In my case, I already installed it, and it's asking me if I want to reinstall, but I don't want to do that. I could cause system errors. So in this case, I'm going to cancel, but in your case, you're going to proceed with the installation. And once it has been finalized, you're going to see the Play Store on here. So now, you go ahead and log in. Again, in my case, I'm already logged in. And after you do so, you go back into the application once more which is right here and it's going to load up you click android 10 once again and uh, at this point you're going to go ahead and download uh, google account manager as well as google contact sync if you don't do this your contacts are not going to be synchronized with the phone so again google account manager and google contact sync the google service framework is already installed on here so you don't have to worry about that as a matter of fact we try it and we click on allow, it says that it's broken. The APK is damaged, that's because you have a newer version of it. So you're gonna click on cancel, you don't have to worry about that. And that's why I mentioned before that luckily for us, Oppo decided to have this already on the phone and you don't need to worry about it, which is definitely a plus. So then after that, it is optional. You can go ahead and download uh, the Gmail application or you can just go ahead and download it directly from um, your Play Store. And lastly, if your contacts are not syncing then you go here into accounts you go into google and as you see i have an error already so i'm going to go ahead and uncheck it and check it again and the same thing i'm going to do for my other one i'm going to um, in case i have any problems for the contacts just uncheck it and check it again and that will resolve your issue so again, very simple to do. And from there, unfortunately, this process is not gonna get all the Google apps uh, installed for you. You have to go manually and start downloading them. So as you guys can see, I have the ones that I use the most and some others which are back here, as you guys can tell. Again, some of these you're gonna need in the future. So just go ahead and start downloading all your Google applications. What I did is here on the Play Store, I went ahead and typed Google, and it'll give you most of the applications that you will need in order to get it working successfully. So as you guys can tell, the process is super, super simple. Um, at this point, you're basically done. You can go ahead and delete the application uh, or the Google installer that we downloaded before. 
you can go ahead and delete that you're all set your play store will be working and now i also want to take this opportunity to give you guys the information on what i got with the benchmarks i did the intuitu and i also did uh, geekbench 5 and i just want to show you the results they are quite impressive especially uh, me testing the snapdragon 765g for the first time ever here in the channel well this is the score that i got it was about 310,000. That's quite impressive guys. That's almost equivalent to what I get with the Snapdragon 855. This is really, really good news. And again, uh, this processor is capable of giving us 5G networks. So unfortunately with the uh, AT&T right now, I am not getting uh, 5G networks. And it has to do because well, they're not providing that service yet. But uh, I know Verizon is, but this phone is not compatible with Verizon either. So yes, for that reason, I can't show you proof that it is working, but they are claiming it, and I do believe it, guys. I mean, this phone is absolutely high-end, and the price, I mean, it varies from company to company. I've seen it for, you know, in the 600s, I've seen it in the 700s, and I've seen it above 1,000. It all depends on what variant uh, you choose as well. In this particular case, I have the 8 gigabyte version with 128 gigabytes of internal memory. Again, it all depends on what you choose. So now, the next one I wanna show you here is the Geekbench, and this is five. And uh, we're gonna go into history mainly. So let's go here, history, let's click on it. And for the single core, I got 611. For the multi-core, I got 1913. Um, I would say that's quite average, uh, but once again, uh, you know we're in 2020 and uh well this phone is not too expensive as i mentioned before it comes with android 10 it has color os 7 and everything about it is super super good it comes with the uh, book charge uh, 4.0 i was quite impressed on how fast i can get the battery charged with it and uh all in all i gotta say i'm liking this device quite a bunch the camera is absolutely amazing the quality is great and uh, you guys can't deny the fact that it has a very nice uh futuristic design i mean i know we are in 2020 but this phone just got super thin only at 7.7 .7 millimeters uh, a 4025 million battery we have four cameras in the back very nice uh, tricolor finish here uh, so i think that oppo is definitely heading towards the right direction when it comes to high-end phones at a very affordable price uh, keep in mind that this doesn't have a flagship price and um, I don't consider it a flagship quite yet. There's a few things that need to be done in order for us to have that, like 4K, 60 frames per second, and maybe the same for the front-facing camera and whatnot. Those are just little things that uh, you know I'm being a little picky about. But yes, all in all, it's a great phone. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think, and don't forget to hit that like button. Let me know if there's any other information that you would like to know about this particular device. Thank you so much for watching and by the way let me know what you think about my new setup there's a lot more updates coming i'm getting a gopro as a corner camera just so that i can give you guys different angles when i'm making videos and whatnot let me know if that's something that you want to see i'm also working on the intro and the outro to make it a little bit better uh, but again it is all thanks to you guys thank you for supporting my channel thank you for making 2019 such a great year and i hope that 2020 um, with the help of you guys, I hope that I can reach 200,000 subscribers. That's my goal. Again, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys on my next one.